well, let's see inside the methods um, why don't we make this an async method and say let response equal await this dot dollar inertia dot post okay we do slash leads slash save this dot is it we send the this dot lead object okay so what will happen is whatever is coming in the data why don't we put this data up here okay fine so we will send this entire object which is you know binded to all the text fields and we will send that to the lead slash save route which means we need to create this okay and we will push this to the store fee uh, function and it's a post request so we have done this let's go back to our controller and let's create the store function okay so the first thing is obviously we do do our validation okay So first we have name, email, DOB and phone. Okay, these are the fields which are coming. All of them are required. The package is optional. We will look at the package later. Okay, email we need additional validation which is it's an it should be an email and date of birth should be a date. Phone number is fine okay so that creates our post data and then because we have our model with the guarded as empty we can do name post data name email I think it's DOB, right? Yes, it's DOB. Then we have phone and branch ID. Okay, I think I have forgotten to store the user ID who created it. We will add that. But for now, the branch ID is let's say hard-coded and age is also hard-coded okay we'll create a field called the uh, added by okay and that should be auth user ID so why don't we open up create lead stable so we have branch ID, we will do user ID as well. So added by is the current logged in user. That should be the default thing. Return. Okay, so once this is done, return redirect. Dash. Okay, I think we need to name it. This way, even if the URL changes, nothing will break here. Okay, and now first we will refresh my migration because I've added one field. I don't need to do an additional field migration. I have just changed it. Uh, added by column is added. So once that is done, again, let's do Amit or rather John Doe.
and pick up today's date this is not yet being saved so okay it says package doesn't have a default value interested package right so why don't we do this if request has it will come as package right so if request has package then dollar package equals okay and we define this as empty by default so interested package is this now let's see if we hit save again it's showing the error again why is that happening column interested package cannot be null all right but i haven't set it to null it's empty why don't we initially go with a nullable field and let later on we will see what can be done okay i'll refresh again the migrations and if everything is fine by some luck we should be able to save it yeah we do so we need we have created that as a null thing and let's try it once more okay and and we'll plan is something which i'll try to save let's hit save and check here okay interested package is not getting saved and let's look at why that is happening so package is fine inside I'm checking the request object so see in the view section I think I have done something wrong here this is in the model it is package uh, sorry the data is package have I done something wrong yes this is IP it should be package so I think now it should work again let's try once more most of it is done it's just this which is pending hit save and we have annual plan so if nothing is you know sent by the user on uh, through the field then it will keep it null otherwise we are saving that information so this is our basic you know, form to create a new lead okay or rather add a new lead to the system we'll have a uh, menu navigation here as well but this is the basic um, uh, code to get that into running and in the next video we will see how we can list it along with some other functionalities